In this video I'm going to show you how you can find the determinant of a matrix using a Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. And before we look at how to do this on the calculator, we'll just quickly review the theory. So a matrix determinant is always associated with square matrix. So if you don't have a square matrix, you're not going to get, get a determinant. So if we have a matrix A, its elements are A, B, C, D, then the formula for the determinant is A, D minus B, C. So you're multiplying this diagonal, A times D, and subtracting it from the other diagonal, which is B times C. If you've got a 3x3 three three matrix, the equation is slightly more complicated. You get this big expression here, simply just covering there and there. So where your fingers intersect is the coefficient, and the remaining letters that are not covered go in that determinant there. And then you do the same thing for B, and you're subtracting that. So you see you've got minus B, and then the D, G, F, and I, which are left. And you do exactly the same thing with C. You see, so if we cover that there, we're intersecting at C, and we're left with D, E, G, H, which is what we've got here, D, E, G, H, times C. And you can play around with that with the formula from the 2 by 2, E times I minus F times H, you get this formula here if you do it all. And this is a pain to work with, so it's quite good to do this using a calculator because it saves you having to do all that work. And we'll just look at how to do that now. So the best way to learn is to just do an example straight away. So here's the calculator. So the one we're going to do is very simple one we'll call matrix A, 1, 2, 3, 4. From the theory I just told you, clearly the determinant is going to be this. You're doing 1 times 4 and subtracting 2 times 3, so you're going to get minus 2. So, first thing we do is put the calculator in the correct mode. So we're pressing mode, and then pressing 6 for matrix. Um, we need to enter the data now, so I'll put that in matrix A, remember that. And, well this is a 2 by 2 matrix. So we're going to select the 2x2 two two option, which is number 5. So we're going to enter this, so just 1 equals, 2 equals, 3 equals, and then 4 equals. So we've got this matrix here on the calculator. Now we need to save this, and on the Casio calculators, your AC button, you can think of as your save, it's this one here, we usually press for the off. So that's that matrix saved into its memory. Now we need to do the actual calculation. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's a lot of menus that you go through. So we need to access the matrix function again. And you'll notice matrix is written above number 4, and that's on the shift key. So press shift, and then we're to the matrix menu when we press number 4. We want to go to determinant, so press number 7. That puts this debt function into the calculator. And then we want to go back into that menu, so that's shift 4 again. And we're wanting matrix A, because that's where we've put our data. So matrix A, and we close the brackets, that should be quite obvious. And press equals, and that gives us minus 2, exactly as we expected. If you put in a matrix that doesn't have a determinant, you will obviously get an error. So if your matrix isn't square, you're not going to get a determinant. So square simply means the same number of rows as columns. And if you want to get your calculator back to normal, just press mode and then 1. And your calculator is exactly as you found it. So that's how you find a determinant using your Casio calculator. And thank you for watching.